up, I'm breaking ankles like some old tops. My rhyme steady going. Please don't ask me if the flow stop. Deep in the pocket like the roof on a drop top. 101 Dalmatians, the way your boy drop dots. May hold up, I got you diving when I'm juking. The clip so sick, like the smell from when you're pooping. I ain't get down and click the sub button. And hit the bell, cause I got a lot more of it. Yeah, who's mains? Terrence House head, who's mains? Fat mains. What's good, what's poppin' YouTube? It's your boy, Who's Mans. You already know what time it is. Uh, we're gonna go over Cover 3 Match. And before we do all that, go ahead, hit that subscribe button and the bell so you never miss an upload. And uh, yeah, so this is gonna be the last installment of Back to the Basics as far as the defense goes. Um, I've kinda gone over a good amount of things. Um, Next, I think I'm going to just go over blitzes, and um, after the blitzes, I'll go over offense, because the blitzes is more so about tendencies and things like that, and down and distance. Uh, I'll go over that, but it's what you use, you know, the coverage that you're using uh, over top of that, and how you can use it to benefit yourself, so um, yeah, there's that. Um, also, I just wanted to give a quick... Um, quick just little thing for uh mike leach really good coach i mean between him uh coach mackey how mummy uh nyk a lot of dudes on youtube that love the air raid they got me into it so shout out to mike leach so uh we're gonna go over cover three match uh this is the last one of back to the basics cover three match is really nice because it shores up parts of cover three uh drop that uh, are weak which is the seams and how they do that is you're going to now use those seam flats uh, and they're going to man up on the number two receiver if they go vertical um, you're going to see there so number one is going to man up uh, on number one if number one goes vertical and then the seam flats are going to man up on the number two if number two goes vertical um, now the safety is going to go towards the weak side uh, of the formation um, or I'm sorry the safety is going to go to the strong side of the formation he's going to cheat more so to the strong side of the formation so whatever if it's a two by two set the safety is going to cheat more over towards where the running back is and you're going to see here if the running back goes to the flats and then I'm going to tell you what happens with the two hook reads the hook read that is over top of the running back side he's going to follow that running back out to the flats which is why the safety is going to help out more so on the strong side of the formation because the other hook zone is going to be helping out on the inside of number two so he's going to kind of go deep with him and um, help him out there now in the case the number two doesn't go vertical uh, that seam flat's going to help uh, push him inside and then kind of go back and you've seen there he pushes him there and then he kind of goes back and stays underneath just to make sure he kind of plays with a traditional cover three role but the other um, defenders as you see they stick with their uh, with their uh, respective person um, here number two and the running back goes so the hook zone is going to have to be a wall defender and then the uh, seam flat on the other side is going to help out with the running back. Um, usually, if number two goes vertical and the running back goes to the flats, then the hook zone will take him. But because number two didn't go vertical, he now has help to the outside so he can be a wall defender. And that's what you've seen there. And the safety, like I said, he's uh, going towards the strong side of the formation there. Uh, same thing here. You see number twos went vertical. The hook zone is going to go with the running back. Uh, he usually has to get eyes in the backfield and help out with that running back. Um, here, the number ones do not go vertical. The number two receivers do. So you see the number one is going to go with those verticals and the seam flats are not going to go vertical. Now, this is because number one didn't go vertical. They know that they have help over top. So the number ones are going to, you know, backpedal. They're going to, number one didn't go vertical, get eyes on number two, and then take them vertical. They are the deep uh, third defenders there, and then you get help underneath. And 
then we are going to look if number two goes straight to the flat you know number two is going to go straight to the flat with him because they are the flat defenders so um there is that <clears throat> now we're looking at these compressed sets uh with uh this here i really like running um cover three match against you know the bench concept here it's just simply because the deep thirds take those corner outs a lot better and then you also have the flat defenders who react a little bit better to those out routes now you can get those throws in there but they're i mean they're kind of tough especially if you have good either outside linebackers or a good um or a good um, nickel corner. The only time you get a bit of an issue is when you put the uh, number one straight on a flat route, uh, like I shown here, because that seam flat backs up a little bit with them. Now I do wish that he would go straight to the flat because they understand that there's a deep third on the field. Um, here's another example where you have the scissors concept there's some inconsistency with this um, where on one side he goes with the streak and the other side he goes with the corner out um, I think there's an inconsistency with this a lot and it's not as it's not so much a um, I don't think it's so much of a awareness thing I think it's a programming thing because you know, if you want your defenders to cover the corner routes, they should just cover the corner routes and leave the, street, the seam streaks open because you know you have that deep third to be able to try to cover both of them, especially if he's very rangy. Or you should just have them, you know, go vertical with the um, streaks. Um, now I'm going to go into cover three buzz match, which is the it reads the exact same it's just now you're in a cover two or a too high look um <clears throat> your hook zone now is going to be your safety and he's going to buzz down that's the whole reason he's buzzing down so um your safety on the weak side of the formation is going to buzz down and the other uh linebacker there is going to um also be a hook and he's going to help cover three and then go to two um, the nice thing about this is it can throw your opponent off quite a bit and you can create a lot of turnovers. I really love using cover three buzz against trip sets, um, <clears throat> even bunch. It works really well and usually throws people off because they think it may be like a, a palms or a cover two or Tampa two, something like that. But just remember uh, with cover three match that your seam your seam flat guys they're gonna match on number two if number two goes vertical and that goes the same for cover three buzz match it reads the exact same it's just now you're in a two high look instead of a single high look um like i said this is great if you want to mix things up or if your opponent has been running verticals and you want to give them a zone look but uh mix you know mix up the coverage and also the buzz is nice as well with a two by two set just remember that whoever you're using if you're using a hook zone and you are the hook zone directly over top of the running back if that running back goes to the flat and number two goes vertical you have to um, make sure you go out there with him because that is your assignment uh, other than that you know hopefully this video worked out for you guys i try to make it a little shorter because of the longer video sometimes can get annoying but Hopefully this did work. If it didn't, let me know. I'll go back to the longer, more detailed videos uh, like so. But <clears throat> I just want to make it entertaining for you guys. And uh, yeah, just remember, G-I-T-G, give it to God. And I will see you guys next time. I got some more gameplays coming up.